Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. What will happen when Microsoft Copilot faces off against ChatGPT in the ultimate productivity battle? Who's better at handling Word documents, Excel chaos, or PowerPoint panic? Let's find out in this video. Round one. The first round will be Word, and we'll start with a general prompt for both of them. And the prompt will be create a Word document with a report on the benefits of AI in development. So let's see what we'll get when we give it this prompt. So in Copilot, it will already give us the lineup about what the content will be that it will be using. And then it's asking us, would you like me to create this document for you? And we're going to say yes. And then you can see that it created the document for us. So let's open and take a look at the final result. And as you can see, it created especially what we wanted with the content that it already suggested in the Copilot Hub. And it created a... Legenda. So it gave us exactly what we wanted. So now let's head over to ChatGPT and see what they can build for us. All right, let's give ChatGPT exactly the same prompt. And just as with Copilot, it already gives the content that it's going to create. So you can provide feedback on all of the content. And then when you're fine with it, you can ask it, hey, convert this to the Word file that we're actually going to use. All right, the Word document has been created. So let's download this one. And just as with Copilot, it automatically created the headers for the Legenda. And it just created a basic setup for the Word file that we're going to use. So I put them next to each other to compare them a little bit. But in my opinion, it's basically the same functionalities. You just get exactly what you want with a basic layout. You can give uh, Copilot as well as ChatGPT feedback on improving the content, making changes where necessary. Uh, it's also possible to change the, the style or anything like that if you just add it in the prompt. So I think we're talking about a draw here. I think they're, uh, they're both having similar functionalities. So I think we're talking about a draw here. Let's proceed to the second round round two and this will be for creating a powerpoint and we're going to use a similar prompt but this time for creating a powerpoint and the first attendant will be copilot so let's use the prompt create a powerpoint about ai in development with a nice layout and just as in the previous scenario, it already gives a summary of the content that it's going to use in the PowerPoint. And at the end, it will ask us, would you like me to create this PowerPoint? So we're going to say, yes, please create this PowerPoint. And there we go, it created the PowerPoint. So let's take a look. And there we have our created PowerPoint by Copilot. And it does show the content that it created for us, but it's not really my taste of a nice layout. Let's see what ChatGPT can bring for us. There we have our second attendant. So let's give him the same prompt as we've used with Copilot. And just like Copilot, it already gives a summary of the content that it's going to use. So if you have any feedback on the content, you can just tell it through ChatGPT or Copilot and it will change the content. But now we're just going to ask it to give the PowerPoint. And there it is. There we have our PowerPoint. So let's take a look. So it's basically pretty much the same. Uh, it didn't really react it to our request of a good looking layout. So for this, it will be a draw. But let's see what they can do for us in overtime. So let's give it another prompt for the overtime and say, let's add some colors. So the prompt that we're going to add is can you add some more layout in the form of coloring and design so let's see what copilot will make of this prompt all right so after a few prompts we got our result from copilot i had to use a few more prompts because it wasn't downloadable at first so that's a little bit of a lacking point from copilot but it did make some changes to the layout it made the first one blue and the other ones a little bit more gray or white we can't blame him that much we didn't use a very specific prompt from raw if you're just giving it few input this is what it brings so let's head over to ChatGPT and see what they made of their second round and let's give the same prompt to ChatGPT. and there we have our result from ChatGPT. so it did something similar to copilot uh, but it made every powerpoint slide blue or whatever this color is called when you're not giving it that much prompt it will keep it very basic let's compare them to each other. So I think this is pretty similar to each other, but I think I do prefer ChatGPT. They did bring us the second route more quickly with less prompt. And I feel that if we're going to use a lot more prompts or a lot more specific prompts, like adding images and these kind of things, that ChatGPT will be a better tool to achieve what you want to achieve. So I'm going to give this one to ChatGPT. For the last round, we're going to test Excel. Final round. And according to Excel, we're going to test it a little bit more on the functionalities. So the prompt that we will be using is create an Excel file designed for managing monthly expenses efficiently. So let's see what Copilot will bring us. 
So this is the result from Copilot. As you can see, it's basicer than basic. So it's not really bringing us a solution. It's just basically giving us an Excel with four titles. I'd like to see some more automations and let's see whether ChatGPT can bring this with the first prompt. So there we are with ChatGPT and we're going to give it exactly the same prompt and see what they can make of this. And there we have our file. So let's open it. And this is the result for ChatGPT, and it's offering more options than the one from Copilot. But it's still very basic, and it does provide us some categories, but they're not available in a drop-down. So if I would have made this solution myself, I would have put in the categories on another page and make this a drop-down or something like that. So uh, it's offering more functionalities, but it's still very basic. I would give this to ChatGPT, but let's go for another round of overtime. So the prompt for the overtime will be, I want to add more functionality in the solution at least at a working category drop down function so let's give this prompt to copilot and let's see what the result is it did add a category functionality but basically just the text can do anything with this so it's exactly the same as the first version so it's not really cooperating with us it so if you want to create something like a expenses solution with the copilot chat functionality you really need to have the detailed prompt ready otherwise you're going to have a very long conversation even though i already have a small favorite we're going to give the overtime prompt to chatgpt as well and there we have our second round for ChatGPT. Let's open it. And there we have the second version for ChatGPT. And it's looking very similar to the first version. But the big difference is that the categories functionality is already having the drop down in it. So all of the categories it created before are now available inside of this drop down menu. So this is an obvious victory for ChatGPT. So who will win? I think that if you live in the Microsoft Office ecosystem, Copilot is your integrated powerhouse. It also has a lot of other functionalities like Copilot agents. And you can really connect this to the data inside of your organization and if you're using ChatGPT, it says that it's not using the data if you're having a paid account and you enable this functionality but uh, i think it's more easy for companies to keep all of these ai integrated in their own organization according to functionality as we've seen in this video i think ChatGPT is a few steps ahead of copilot it's working better when reprompting uh, like we've seen with the excel so i think that ChatGPT, on terms of functionality is a better way to go but if you're already using Microsoft 365, I think Copilot is a very good way to make the integration between AI and your current work environment. But I'm very curious on how you look at this topic. So please let me know in the comments or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.